In this video, I'll go through Microsoft Copilot Studio licensing. Now, Copilot Studio are basically used to author Copilot or extend existing first party Microsoft Copilot. So it can be Microsoft 365 Copilot or uh, Microsoft 365 or Dynamics 365 Sales Copilot. Uh, and then there are other copilot which you can extend. Now, basically, Copilot Studio are licensed via something called as a capacity pack. Now, Copilot Studio requires a tenant licensing. So the licensing is a bit different uh, from a Copilot Studio perspective. Now, here you need to buy something at a tenant level. So one capacity pack is counted as 25,000 messages per month. So if you buy one capacity pack, you get 25,000 messages per month usage rights. Now, Customers are charged as per the consumption of the build messages. Okay, now what is a build message? So Copilot uh, is all about uh, you know, conversational AI. Uh, so you just converse with the, uh, say the party in the front. So you have an agent and you have a customer communicating with each other through chat. Now that interaction is called as a message. Now, a build message is basically a request or a message sent to Copilot triggering an action to the response. Now, there can be two kinds of message. Now, one is which uses artificial intelligence, which is generative AI, uh, and the one which is just like a non-generative AI message. Now, if it is a non-generative AI message, it will be treated as just as a one message. And if it's related to generative AI, then it will be treated as two messages. Now, for the consumption now one is like you need to have a copilot studio capacity pack which is at a tenant level but for a user you need to have something called as a copilot studio user license which is a zero dollar license currently is required for each user authoring bots with the copilot studio now these are the things which are required if you want to build a copilot within Copilot Studio. Now, this is the documentation uh, screenshot, which I've taken from Power Platform Licensing Guide, August 2024 update. Now, Microsoft has given you one subscription if you want to use Copilot Studio for authoring Copilots. Now, how this all things are structured is you get a uh, messages per tenant per month of 25,000 messages. Now, you can use gen ai enabled conversations you can create and publish your own standalone copilot uh, you can iterate on copilot topics using expanded natural language capacity however you cannot create and publish plugins to customize copilot for microsoft 365 so that does not come with copilot studio subscription so if you want to extend Microsoft 365 Copilot, you cannot do that using Copilot Studio subscription. However, you get other benefits like you can use Power Automate for Copilot Studio Cloud Flows, so automated instant schedule flows, but within the context of Copilot Studio only. Then you get standard and premium custom Power Platform connectors. Uh, you get uh, uh, on-prem and cloud service data transfer, data was for Copilot Studio. You can utilize managed environment uh, and Basically, the output which you create is just your own standalone copilot. And you can also publish this copilot to various channels like external web, Facebook, WhatsApp, uh, Teams, internal web, those kind of things. Okay. Now, this is what is mentioned in the documentation. Now, in my tenant, I have this Microsoft Copilot Studio viral trial. So you get a trial version as well. So if you want to try out something within your organization before you think of uh, embracing Copilot Studio or building Copilot within your organization, then you can go with this uh, a trial license. And then with this trial license, you get uh, a, basically um, access to a common data service. You get Dynamics 365 AI for customer service and Flow for CCI bots so that you can try out various combinations of different technologies and then you can build your Copilot. Now in Microsoft 365 Admin Center, if you want to buy the Copilot Studio licenses, there are various options. So you go there, Microsoft 365 Admin Center, click on purchase services. And then if you search for business apps, then you will find various things like Microsoft Copilot Studio, Microsoft 365 Copilot for service, uh, and Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365 and three Microsoft 365 Copilot for sales. Now, the one which we are focused on is Microsoft Copilot Studio. But remember, if you want to create a Copilot and extend it basically for Microsoft 365, you cannot do that with Copilot Studio. You need to have 
uh, a different SKU for that, which I'm going to show you uh, while uh, demonstrating uh, through some of the component within the licensing space. Now, here, as you see, plans and pricing, in order to build a co-pilot, you need to have a co-pilot studio user license and you need to have Microsoft Copilot Studio, which is at a tenant level. OK, so you need to have this. However, the Microsoft Copilot Studio user license is basically a zero dollar license, uh, which is like you can subscribe for free for one month or free for one year or free for three years, depending on your uh, requirement and trial uh, capacity. So that's how you basically utilize this entire service. Now, Consumption analytics. So once you start using Copilot uh, in Power Platform Admin Center, you will get a nice visual of how Copilot is getting used within your organization. What is the adoption rate? In which all technology it is used? Power Apps, Power Automate. Uh, how is the monthly active users by product? Uh, how it is being utilized in Power Pages? And what are the generative action which uh, you are using within your organization, uh, whether it's in preview or whether it's in general available? Now, you also get a message capacity and sessions capacity, like how many messages have you consumed for a specific week or month or till date okay uh, so you get to see message capacity you get to see sessions capacity so all this you uh, uh, statistics you get uh, uh, get to see in the power platform admin center uh, and also from a capacity perspective you can actually see within an environment how the capacities are lined up and how are the sessions lined up and you can also uh, assign uh, a units for a specific environment. So as you see over here, you can assign a units for this environment. Uh, however, there is a limit, like you cannot use any number that has to be like uh, in the uh, space of say, starts with 500. So a minimum of 500 needs to be allocated. And that's how you basically assign uh, the units uh, for a specific environment. So this is how you uh, basically see how the licenses have been uh, used uh, across your organization. So messages, capacity assignment, messages, capacity consumption. So at two level, one is at a session level and another is at a messages level. And additionally, if you want to purchase license, you can go ahead and click on purchase license and thereby you can uh, purchase additional licenses or capacity. Now, this is a documentation, Power Platform Licensing Guide. Now, this is a nice documentation, last updated August 2024. Uh, here, Microsoft has given you one uh, licensing section for Copilot Studio. So you can read through this content. It says Copilot Studio is an end-to-end -end conversational AI platform that allows you to create and customize Copilot using natural language or graphical interface. Now, the SKU which comes with that Copilot Studio, which is a tenant license. So as you see over here, it's a tenant license, 25,000 messages per month. So customer will be charged as per the consumption of the build message. Non-gen AI message is treated as one message. If it is anything to do with generative AI, which queries the large language model, uh, then it will consume two messages. So uh, Microsoft has given you a simple example, like if a user asks a copilot when the store is open and copilot replies, uh, then it is treated as one build message. However, if copilot uh, uh, say uh, ask copilot, uh, say if a user asks copilot for store hours for the upcoming holiday and if copilot responds using generative answers, then it is treated as two build message. So remember, like if copilot proactively greets you, it is treated as one build message, okay? Uh, so it's it's like any messages which are interacted through that conversational AI window, uh, it will be uh, adding to your um, message count. Okay, and there's no limitation. You can use a mix of regular and generative AI message. And then there is a small point which is mentioned over here, which says a Copilot Studio user license is required for each user authoring the bots within Copilot Studio. So. Two things, one is a tenant license and then a user license you need to have in order to uh, basically uh, author a co-pilot within your environment. Now, how to download this documentation? So I have this link over here. So it's a learn.microsoft.com link. From here, you can navigate to Power Platform Licensing Guide and you can download this document. Uh, okay, so... Uh, if I navigate to the Power Platform Admin Center, then here 
uh, on the left hand side you will see copilot now copilot uh, here uh, this is a section basically it will show you how the copilot is being used within your organization uh, usage is weekly daily monthly so if i click on monthly i'll be able to see the monthly usage weekly daily usage uh, and then it talks about copilot studio power apps and power automate as well uh, monthly active users web product so segregated across copilot studio power apps power automate and power pages so as you see over here i've been uh, making some changes from a power apps perspective but nothing on power automate or power pages so that's a nice uh, indication uh, that i may need to look into other technologies as well uh, also if i am utilizing uh, generative ai preview fe features or ga features so it will show you that uh, in 20, say 94% of the environment, I am been used uh, using generative actions at a preview stage. So it will give you a nice visual of the feature set being used within your organization. Uh, and also how am I utilizing Power Apps uh, from a co-pilot perspective? So for, from a maker side, from an app co-pilot side, um, uh, how I've been using an app description. So I've used to generate app descriptions for various apps. And that's why it's showing me that it's being utilized, but not at a great scale. Uh, and if you navigate to various other visuals, you will try to see uh, various other insights provided by Microsoft. Now, under, uh, say, billing if you navigate to licenses from here you can also click on copilot studio licenses and then from here you have an ability to purchase license which will again take you to admin center and then from that you can purchase additional licenses now licensing summary i have this capacity manage capacity uh, so if i click on manage capacity then i will be able to see my sages capacity and sessions capacity and from an environment perspective, it will show me what are the different environments I have and how are the capacities assigned and consumed. Now, if I want to make any changes, then uh, I need to uh, specify that explicitly. Uh, I can see that like if I go into say one of the environments, so get a preview US environment. So if I select this environment, I can assign a unit for this environment. So if I want to assign say 550 units uh, so it says maximum of zero currently assigned plus available capacity can be allocated. Now I do not have any capacity and that's why they're throwing me this error. But then if you have a valid capacity, then you can actually specify, but make sure that it is from 500. So you cannot assign one or two capacity uh, units uh, for your environment. So that's how you basically use the capacity management uh, section. Uh, and you can also export to CSV if you want to use this information for, from a billing or finance perspective. You can export this entire list to CSV and then do a further analysis on that. And this will also give you a nice capacity listing of uh, from a status perspective, like as you see over here for a sales trial is basically over capacity. Now it says your environment has been over its assigned capacity during the past three months, assign more capacity for the environment to avoid degraded performance. So it's not that like your environment is going to stop, but then you will face some sort of a performance issue if you do not assign uh, proper uh, units to your uh, environment. So that's it, folks. This is all about Copilot Studio licensing, how the licensing works. Uh, if you click on purchase licenses, then um, it will take you to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And then from there, uh, you will be able to see what kind of licenses you have. Uh, and now, if I click on purchase services, and I need to select the billing account. So let me select the billing account. Please. And from here, uh, I can just turn off other tabs. So if I want to just find out Power Platform or Dynamics 365 uh, services, then it will list down all the Power Platform or Dynamics 365 related services. Uh, I can also search. So I'll just say other services or recommended. Uh, and then I can just search for Copilot. And then once you search for Copilot, you'll be uh, seeing a lot of copilot SKUs which are available for you to purchase now one is microsoft copilot studio which is again at a tenant level uh, then we have microsoft 365 copilot for servers or microsoft copilot for microsoft 365 and microsoft 365 copilot for sales so if we go into the documentation which i just showed you now in this documentation 
you have three different sections, right? So one is Copilot Studio subscription, which I, I was talking about. But then we saw that create and publish plugins to customize Copilot for Microsoft 360 was not available in this Copilot Studio. So if you want to actually extend Copilot for Microsoft 365, then you need to have an explicitly uh, specified license called as Copilot Studio use, right? with copilot for microsoft 365 which is again goes for 30 dollar per user per month now remember copilot studio is a tenant license and it's 200 per tenant per month uh, uh, this is all based on us pricing uh, however once you get that you know you get a lot of other functionality benefits like you get unlimited messages you get an ai enabled conversations but then you cannot publish your Copilot, right? So if you want to publish your own Copilot, you need to have a Copilot Studio subscription. However, if you want to do both things, then you need to have this both subscription Copilot Studio use right with Copilot for Microsoft 365 as well as the Copilot Studio subscription. And then there are a lot of overlapping features over here. But what you don't get is like you cannot navigate to various Copilot topics using expanded natural language capabilities and uh, you do not get a benefit of utilizing managed environments. Uh, then there is something called a Copilot Studio for Teams. So if you just want to use from a Teams perspective, you get an unlimited messages, but then it will the channel would be only teams there are a lot of things which you cannot do you can iterate through the copilot topics you can use standard power platform connectors but you cannot use premium connectors and you get only dataverse for teams uh, as a dataverse for copilot studio uh, and also you can only publish using teams channel so you can just use from a team's perspective. Now, this is at a very low level if you're just starting and if you want to get a taste of how Copilot Studio works, but only from a context of team, then this is a valid skew to go for. But then if you want to do everything, like if you want to build a Copilot, if you want to extend a Copilot, then you need to get Copilot Studio subscription as well as Copilot Studio use right for Microsoft 365. So that's it folks. This is how you basically uh, understand the scope all studio licensing schematics uh, go through this documentation this documentation is comprehensive microsoft has done a good job of giving you a comparison and also they have given you some sort of a side note as well which is also important if you want to read through the content uh, from a uh, context perspective like say if you see one copilot studio messages are common currency across copilot capabilities and now this is pointing to say uh, 25000 messages now how that messages are structured and how it is consumed on a uh, transactional basis so that's it folks this is all about copilot studio licensing thank you